Hi, this is Dee Dixon with CCS Presentation Systems. This is a quick overview on the new shouted out lesson activity found within the latest version of the Smart Notebook software version 15.1, which just released the early part of August of this year. Many of you are familiar with the XC Collaboration tool that was at one time found in your add-ons tab. Well, it is going away. You've probably seen some alerts, but if you were to go to the website, the website does tell you thank you for your interest and that it is now going to be a part of the Smart Notebook software. So here's where it's located. If you look for the hat up in the toolbar, that is your lesson activity builder. By engaging that, the second, act, second activity down is the shout it out, which is, it does indicate that it is mobile enabled. So this is your new XC collaboration feature. Let's demonstrate what that would look like in the classroom. So here's your shout it out. We're gonna use living versus non-living. And as a teacher, I'm going to build this in under a minute. Let's go to our lesson activity, add this activity. We're gonna categorize it because we have two categories. And so the first category is living, non-living. We're going to have the contributions be text. Students can contribute to, and I do want their names on there. So next, this is an optional feature where you could add like a, a gaming situation with a buzzer, a hat picker for name picking, timer. You'll just have to explore those, but today we're just going to do a quick overview and select finish. So this will embed the activity on my smart notebook page. My problem when I did this the first time is I went, wait, I lost my title bar that I created when I was building this lesson. All you have to do to move it is right click, go to the towards the top, and you can drag down and reposition this activity on the page. Also note that if you look over here on the side, it says the activity isn't started yet. Well, this, if I was trying to retract this pop-up, it will not go away until I actually start the activity. But once you start the activity, students can join, which is what you want. Start activity, and you'll see the students' names aren't here yet. What it will provide your class is a website, classlab.com. The QR code is no longer, so this will be the student on this half of my screen, classlab.com. And you'll type in the ID number, which is 56573711. You do not need a space, and then put in your student's name. I'll put in my name, join the activity, and there you'll see your list or your roster of students who have joined. I'm going to go ahead and retract that so it's not in my way. Here's your two categories, living and non-living. That's what the teacher's seeing or in front of the classroom. On the side here, enter my response. So my response is cat. I'll select to, it's a living object, and I'll send that response. When I'm up here at the smart board, I can move my responses as they come in around and put them in order as received, or you'll, they'll just be randomly placed on that section. I'm going to enter in a second response, which would be non-living, pencil, and non-living, send that response in, same thing. Multiple responses, it's great. You can go through it, or if it was a contribution, you're like, oh, maybe I want you to send a new contribution, you can grab hold of an existing contribution and delete the object and have them resend um, a non-living object. Now, if you're saying, okay, well, this is great. We got it in text form, but I'd rather my students show me in the form of an image. You can edit this activity by selecting the pencil and it will take you through the whole, um, the whole template again. So we'll say next, this stays. We'll move it to images. Again, make sure you allow for your number of contributions. Say next, close. And notice it, st it stayed positioned in the screen. My student was connected. Uh, the student is getting an alert saying that um, the activity ended, but they just said, okay, when you're ready to go again, start activity. And let's retract this. Now students then can contribute with images. Let's Say a koala and you'll see it send to my living and then 
we'll do a non-living object. You may also see that it's kind of small to see. Well, you, in class you can select the image and you can scroll through all the contributions that students have um, sent to your screen. You also can annotate on this if you wanted to and you can erase so you can further contribution um, of, from this of this activity. <laughs> All right, so lastly, I want to leave this with you. Feel free to join us, our CPS Smart Notebook 15 features. We have other videos, kind of a collection of Notebook 15. Um, some of them are from Smart. Some of them are our contributions or teacher videos as well. We'd love you to join our circle. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at ddixon at ccssouthwest.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.